this is the Provoke Brawn, and this is a video to show you how to transform your Corsair Elite Capelix cooler so that it goes from looking like this to looking like this. That's right, Corsair has released an upgrade that you can add on to your Corsair Elite Capelix cooler and convert it so you can have GIFs or temperature readouts on the screen of your cooler and you can see these things at a glance and the good news is this upgrade is really easy so you can purchase an elite lcd upgrade kit that i'm about to unbox and show you how to install and the process for installing is dead simple and that is part of the joy of it this lcd display is also able to show off a number of different things you'll see a sample of that as well as how to set it up in what Corsair's IQ software. But before you get started, before you even get this out of the box, make sure that you update your Corsair IQ software to the latest version and ensure that the Commander Core has the latest firmware updates as well before you get started, before you start this installation process. It's really important. Now, out of the box, you'll see that you have the head. You also have a USB Y splitter which is useful to make sure that you're only using one USB port on your motherboard. So that's actually a really handy thing to have. The Allen key for removing the standard plates, which is very handy if you happen to have lost the original key that came with the cooler. And four standoff screws, which are an important part of the installation process. And you'll see that this LCD display then sits on top of the pump head and it is basically just held in place by those standoff screws and the little connector on the bottom. You then have three cables to deal with. You'll be removing all the original cables from the standard pump head and swapping them out for this. And you'll see there's the fan connection, USB connection, and the standard connection that connects to the commander core. If you've already gone through this installation, you'll know this is going to be a fairly straightforward process, but I'm going to show you where these go as well. The USB Y splitter is useful because it means that you can put the USB from the new pump head and the USB from the commander core into the splitter and then connect it. There's a QR code on the box that you can use the Google Lens app to scan and download the installation manual. So if you need it, if you find that my video doesn't tick all the boxes for you, you can just click to download that, which makes life quite easy. But you shouldn't need it because I'm going to show you all the steps in how to do it and then what you can do with it in Corsair's IQ software and the potential possibilities. This is a really nice and easy upgrade. So next step, obviously, once you've updated the firmware on the commander core is to unplug your PC and go about the process of removing the cable. So you need to remove that main connection cable to the commander core from the pump head and obviously work it out of your cable management, which you will see mine is a mess. And this is actually Optimal Dwarf's PC. So shout out to my friend Optimal Dwarf who let me borrow his PC in order to do this. Now we're going to remove the pump head cover from the Elite Capelix cooler. And that you use the Allen key for that. And it's a really straightforward process. You're probably familiar with this if, like me, you already swapped out this pump head for the white one versus the black one that comes as standard. It's a really straightforward process, basically just removing those. This is an important part of it because that holds the whole thing in place and then allows you to remove the top part. Obviously, we need to make sure we also remove the CPU fan pump cable and the commander core cable from the back of the case and from your motherboard. And then you can take out this whole thing and you're left with just the pump connected to your CPU and you don't need to take that part off, which is great. You'll then go about the process of installing the standoff screws. So the four screws that came with the upgrade kit, you then just screw into those various holes there. The thing itself then just pops down on top. Obviously, there's a gap on one side of it, and you'll see that is where your pump tubes are. So it's really easy to install it and make sure that it's in the right place. And then it just clips into place dead easy. And you don't need to screw it down or anything because it's just held in place with those clips and the standoffs, which I assume are slightly magnetic. You then plug this little cable into the CPU fan header or AIO fan header on your motherboard and you'll find that in the manual but mine is in the top left and then you can use the commander core cable and the USB cable. These are the other two that need plugging in. So we're going to run them through to the back. The commander core cable as you might know goes into the commander core. Make sure that the white bit is facing up and that it's plugged in the right way around and then you just plug it in the same way you took the original one out. 
so that clicks into place nice and easily and that allows the commander core to control the pump head and manage everything and then the USB Y splitter is used as I said already to connect both the USB from the new pump head and the USB from the commander core into one single connection so you don't need two connections on your USB headers on your motherboard which is obviously a bonus in case you've got anything else plugged into the machine you might find you haven't got enough USB ports so it's really nice they've included this as an extra thing and then obviously just find your USB header on your motherboard and plug it in there you might have already removed the commander core if not you can do that and then plug that in there and then you're away turn it on and you're into the goodness of having a screen that shows off in a number of ways now this kit is actually nice because it has not only the display but also an RGB ring around the outside of it that you'll see lighting up there that naturally works with Corsair's RGB lighting in a number of different ways so it will work with the instant lighting setup so if you have a particular mode of RGB that you like you'll see that it automatically works very nicely with that you can see it here with the RAM responding in the colors to that obviously it'll also work with the fans if you have any sort of sequence of RGB that goes through your case then it will also pass through the pump head through the rings and there are a number of different spots on the ring that you can adjust so you can customize all the lighting within that there's a multitude of different things but more enticing and more exciting than that in my mind is almost certainly that display because that display allows you to show off a number of different things in a number of different ways obviously the standard one is the coolant temperature which gives you a rough idea of how hot things are running on your cpu but you can also get data on particular core temperature and things like the pump speed and fan speed and you can adjust all that in there but you can also change the look and feel of the display and the colors that are showing and you can also use it for a warning now quick note i would suggest that you remove all the plastic peel before you install rather than afterwards like i did i did it for show purposes and it ended up backfiring on me because it was very fiddly to get out now one of the other highlights as you saw at the beginning of this is that you can add images in so you can actually drop any image you want into here and then you see within iq you can then resize it so it then sits nicely on that round pump head you don't need a round image and it can even be larger you can zoom in and out you can reposition it and you can get batman to sit on there but perhaps more excitingly is the ability to add in your own gifs now it's important to note that it won't work with video files it needs to be a gif file but if you go on the internet and download yourself a nice gif from giphy.com you can then get that onto your pump head with ease and then just basically uploading it in iq and then repositioning it and resizing it until your heart is content and the chortles ensue so it's a really simple addition and you must see just how much better looking this pump head is than the original one with that just rgb lighting it's a very nice upgrade to the system obviously at a glance things like cpu temperature is also very handy now in Corsair's IQ software, obviously that then shows up as the Elite Capitalix cooler and you'll see the new icons for that. You still have all the same controls that you do previously, so obviously you can control all your fans and other things in here. I'm not going to go into a great deal of depth on that because you'll know about it if you're just upgrading. But what you'll see is that you have the ability to change the lighting. And here you can see all the different RGB zones around the ring so the ability to customize them but you can also select from a number of different lighting types now as i said obviously you can use the default lighting instant lighting across all your devices and that will run into this but you can also individually program the pump head if you so choose and there's plenty of different options to be able to do that in here and customize the lighting ring and the design of it you can also adjust what's shown on the display under the screen setup area so you'll see there's a number of different choices here in terms of what sort of scheme or colors that you're showing off and um, whether you have the standard one or whether you've got sort of a sunrise effect and these things actually will change based on the temperature as well so not only do you get an alert sort of based on what actual temperatures you have but you'll get sort of different colors to show the temperature levels you can also see that you can go through and you can select different things from as i said fan speed to core temperature to 
cooler temp and other things. One thing that is missing, sadly, that is present on the NZXT Kraken Z73, which I've enjoyed, is the ability to display both your CPU temperature and GPU temperature at the same time. But you can display different temps, so you can have the pump temp and other temps in there, your core temps, for example. So it is possible to customize what you're seeing and the data that's visible at a glance. Obviously, the ability to add in your own GIFs is very exciting, and you might think that that is the best part of it. It's really simple to do, as I said. Just make sure that you have a decent-sized file, though. You can see here, for example, we've got a tiny, tiny little GIF that doesn't quite fit, and you can't zoom in on it, so you do need a good size and you also need to make sure it is actually a GIF and nothing else. Otherwise, it won't work. This has been the Provoke Prawn. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the links in the description for more and the specs on this upgrade kit. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. I hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.